the Black-Scholes model is a model of option pricing, uh, which has become ubiquitous in the industry. And it's a model based on the principle of continuous replication of the option using the underlying security and a risk-free bond. Uh, there's a very daunting equation which represents the uh, Black-Scholes value for a call option, um, but the intuition of the equation is actually very simple. So uh, what I have here is I have two versions of the equation. Uh, one for the uh, so-called payoff of the option when the option expires, the call option that is, and one for when the option is some time away from expiry. And the intuition here is actually quite simple. It turns out that this first term in the formula, the so-called Black-Scholes formula, is just the expected present value of the stock, the underlying security, um, based on the value of the stock today, um, and, and assigning a value of zero to all the values for the stock which happen to lie below the strike, this is this X, the option exercise, which is in the second term. And the second term is just the present value of the strike, which is what the option holder would have to pay in order to obtain the stock, um, multiplied by uh, this term, which is really just a probability that the stock will in fact wind up above the exercise price. So if you look at the diagram, you'll see I've got two versions here of the, the value of the call option. The solid line is the payoff profile for the call option at the expiry date. So the option is either worth something if the underlying security is greater than the strike price, or it is worth zero. At some time prior to uh, expiry, the option will have a positive value, even when the stock is uh, below the strike because there is still time left for the stock to evolve. So the important things, the important assumptions that go into the Black-Scholes model is the dynamics of the underlying stock price. It's something called geometric Brownian motion and the important components of assuming geometric Brownian motion for the dynamics is the fact that the volatility of the stock is constant and also it turns out uh, an assumption here is that the risk-free rate um, is, is held constant over the term to expire it. So that, in a nutshell, is the uh, Black-Scholes model. The reason why we refer to it as the Black-Scholes-Merton model is because there are really three characters who were instrumental in the development of this idea, Black and Scholes, and uh, Robert Merton, um, who wrote a paper independently of Black and Scholes and effectively uh, arrived at the same result. So this model has become the industry standard for pricing options. And not only does it allow us to price options, but it's given us very important insights into valuing corporate liabilities as well.